I'm in PowerPoint for iPad. Like Word and Excel, when I've signed in with my Microsoft account, I can tap the very first entry in the new screen to create a new blank presentation from scratch, or I can tap any of these choices to work with a design template, and they've given me a lot of choices here. But I'll tap Open, I'll tap on my OneDrive, and I'll navigate to a presentation that I already have stored in my OneDrive account. It's going to download it and open it directly on the iPad. Now we've talked about how you can see the ribbon right from the start, and it always defaults you to that Home tab. So the first thing I can do is tap on each slide to access them. Once I have a slide open, I can tap and then double tap to start working with the text itself. Now, because I'm in that Home Ribbon tab, I have all the choices to work with the text directly. For example, I can boldface and italicize and change the font. I can also change the color. If I'm done, I can tap the keyboard icon in the very bottom right-hand side of the screen, and it'll go away so that I can see the big picture of what my slide's going to look like. To insert a new slide, let's move to the Insert Ribbon tab. From here, it's just a matter of tapping New Slide. Now I can choose the layout of the slide I want. I can see all my choices, and when I've made my choice, all I have to do is tap it. Now it tells me that all I have to do is double tap to start adding text to the bullet points. I can simply continue to type. I could also add a picture directly from my camera roll. I'm already on that Insert Ribbon tab. I'll choose Pictures. I can then go into my camera roll, choose a picture, and now I can tap and drag from any of the diagonal points to resize it. I can move it around anywhere on my slide and tap off of it to see how it's going to look. I can also add things like picture reflections. If I tap back into it, it gets me into a special ribbon tab called Picture. From here, I can choose picture styles such as oval shapes or adding frames to it. I can also tap and add shadows and even reflections. Moving on, if we go to the Transitions ribbon tab, I can very easily start adding effects to all my slides. If I tap Transition Effect, I can choose the one I want, and then I can simply tap Apply to All Slides, and that particular transition has easily been added to all my slides for my presentation. I can reorder slides too. While I'm still preparing my presentation, I can tap and hold on a slide and shift it up and down to move it anywhere else in my presentation. If I let go, it'll be moved to the new spot. I can also single tap a slide and copy it, delete it, or duplicate it if I wanted to copy that same slide. In this case, I'll tap delete and it goes away. Finally, at the very bottom right hand side, it's written very small, but if I tap the word notes, it's going to bring up a screen where I can start adding speaker notes. I can tap, and here's where I can put in any special notes I want for my presentation while I'm presenting it that my audience won't see. To do your slideshow, tap the slideshow ribbon item, and here's where I can choose whether I want to start the slideshow from the current slide or from the beginning. If I tap from start, It'll start my presentation right from the very start. To move on to the next slide, simply swipe with your finger. There's a few things I want to show you while you're presenting. The first is the annotation pen. If I swipe down from the very top of the screen, I'll get some options. If I tap the pen icon, here's where I can annotate my slides for the audience. I can start drawing with my finger directly on the presentation. Now, if my slides were red, that's no problem. In the top right hand side, if I choose the pen with a gear icon in it, I can change the color of it so that it's a little easier to read. To stop using the pen, I just have to tap it again and swipe up to make that screen disappear for me. There's one more thing I want to show you. I also have the ability to use a laser pointer. I'm going to move on to another slide. If I tap and hold with my finger, I'm given a special laser pointer object. And as I move my finger around the pad, it goes with me. So I can use this as a great presentation tool. I can swipe through my presentation, and when it's all done, I can swipe one more time and I'll get back to the main screen. When I'm all done with my presentation, simply 
tap the arrow with the circle on it on the top left hand side of the screen, and I can tap new again, and I'm brought back to that main screen where I can select a new presentation. So that's your first look at PowerPoint for the iPad.